So with everybody being forced to be online at the moment with this whole COVID-19 thing and self-isolation and lockdown, how are you showing up online? Are you showing up to build relationships or are you showing up just to sell and get your message across? Something to think about. Hi everyone, it's Leanne Cohen here, Digital Success Catalyst and owner of Marketing Lee. And we're going to talk about exactly how you show up online, regardless of what platform it is, whether it's Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, uh, which is just going absolutely crazy at the moment, or LinkedIn. How you show up is so important with the way things are now. It's not a case of offline or, or online. It's a case of knowing exactly who it is that you're talking to and building a relationship with them. I've just come out of a couple of reporting meetings uh, with clients, with clients that I do monthly work for through Marketing Lead. Every month we get together, we have a meeting and we run through the statistics to see what's working, what's not, what we need to change, how we need to pivot a few things and, and so we can grow their business. And it's been really interesting because one of the questions from one of my clients was, engagement for some reason it was i'm doing all these posts on linkedin but i'm not getting the engagement i thought i would so my first question was yes the posts are going out but how many people are you actually talking to how many people are you actually connecting with and that's what a lot of people don't realize is when you show up online it's it's all well and good showing up but you can't turn around and go ta-da i'm here because and especially right now everybody else is showing up online and everybody else is putting their ideas out there and again that's why facebook groups are going up so well because there is that engagement there's that connection and it's ironic that the more time we spend online the more we want that one-on-one -on -one connection with the person at the other end so when you are posting on facebook and when you are creating your content to put out there you really have to think about how is this going to build a relationship with them. So it's not a case of getting out there and just spruiking your stuff and selling. It's a case of posing a question. And when people do start connecting with you, engage with them. And if you're not getting the response that you think you should, there is nothing wrong with politely getting on Messenger or if you're on LinkedIn, sending a message and saying, hey, I've just I've just written this article or I've just written this post. I'd really love your feedback or I'd really love your thoughts. And in actual fact, there is a, um, an author on LinkedIn who's really, he's got this down to a fine art. So every time he's about to release a book, he will actually message his connections on LinkedIn and say, hi, you know, and obviously he doesn't just turn up out of the blue. He still connects on a regular basis. So he's still building a relationship. And whether you're doing this on Instagram through direct messaging, whether you're doing it on LinkedIn or whether you're doing it on Facebook, it's the same process. It's having that, that continual connection with people and making people feel important. Because again, your brand is the sum total of their feelings and responses to your business. That's what your brand is all about. And that's what marketing online is all about. It's all about making people feel better about themselves and about you know, interacting with you. Just showing up and throwing a few posts out there and thinking that that's actually gonna work, doesn't. Right now, it's all about building those connections and building those relationships and reaching out every so often. Hi, how are you doing? And then when you do have something that you're going to launch and you do reach out and say, hi, I've just got this particular product. And in this guy's case, I'm just about to launch this book. I'd love it if you would read over this particular chapter and give me your thoughts. So he's not actively selling his book, but he suddenly has everybody reading a section of it so that when it is launched, he comes out and says, great it's launched and he's got more people that have an understanding of what it's about and they want to buy from him and of course you know with digital marketing it's not just social media again um, other clients that I had meetings with today we were going through what's happening with their marketing and they're at the stage now where it's okay now we need to look at your email marketing how are you continually starting to build that relationship now this is an e-commerce store so how are you re-engaging with your clients? How are you interacting with them? Are you emailing them? Thank you so much for your purchase. Two weeks later, how's it going? Could you give me some feedback? A month later, 
you know, I hope you really enjoyed it. It's nearly time to buy again. And you're constantly turning up in front of them and letting them know that you're there. But at the same time, that interaction, when it's worded the right way, makes them feel special. It makes them feel important and it makes them want to continue to do business with you. So that's one of the things that I just wanted to share with you today was to have a look at how you are not just showing up online, but how you're connecting with other people and how you're building that relationship with them. Because now with everything moving online, it is all about the relationships that you build because it's getting so competitive out there. And unless you are a digital marketer, and even if you are a digital marketer, my team are continually learning because things are changing all the time. There are so many things that you need to know. It gets back to that whole, people will forget what you said. They might forget what you did, but they're not going to forget how you made them feel. Making sure that you are turning up and showing up online and you are making people, people feel important and you're building that relationship. That's the most important thing that you can do right now. And especially because everybody is online, we don't have a choice. This is how we're communicating now. So build those relationships and you know, just make sure that when you do have something to promote, those relationships are there and uh, you actually get people that then want to buy from you because they know you, they like you, they trust you. So they're happy to give you their money. If you've got any questions around the digital space, obviously, with the way things are going. All of my courses are now online. The next workshop we have is on the 1st of May. It's on a Friday from nine till 12. And it is all about how to create a week's worth of content from one video. So this is a, a particular process that, that we use in my agency, Marketing Lead. And it's a process that works really, really well because you get a consistent message every single week. It's your voice it's your words but you're not constantly trying to figure out what you've got to say for the next week so that particular video is actually going through and showing you how to create a week's worth of content from one video and you will be doing it during the workshop it's not just you sitting there listening to me talk for three hours it's interactive i expect you to have banter and, and throw your ideas around and have a go so you can actually see how it works so that's on the first of may it's a friday the next one after that is on the 15th of May, also Friday, and it's all about all things Google. So that's where we deep dive into Google My Business and Hangouts and actually how to show up on Google and how Google works and what the different programs are and platforms are that Google has to help you grow your business. Just the different things that, you know, if Google's gonna do something for you for free, you can make the most of it. And then at the end of May, which is the 29th, I've got my strategy and planning. So you can actually map out the next six months of 2020 and uh, just see exactly, have a strategy in place of how you're going to show up online and how you're actually going to grow your business or even start your business if you are looking to, to pivot. So those are the three workshops that I've got coming up for the month of May. If you're interested, please comment below. Uh, I will put a link as well. In the meantime, guys, have an amazing week. And remember, this is all about building relationships. That is the key to success online and the key for you to have your digital success. If you have any questions, just shout. Because remember, I am here to help you lose the marketing overwhelm and to help you grow your business if you are already online. Or if not, if you want to start, reach out and uh, let me help you get started in the right way so that you're not spending thousands and months down the track wondering where to from here because everything you're doing is not working. In the meantime, have an amazing week and I will see you again next Tuesday. Bye guys.